So material jetting technology, as I understand it, material jetting uh, uses a, uh, a photopolymerized uh, material, much like classic photolithography where a laser is hardening uh, a polymer in a tank layer by layer. Uh, the material jetting system moves a lot of small print heads closer to a surface and it jets the layers on and exposes it to light much closer to the feed source. I think that it is a really exciting and uh, useful technology, especially since you can actually mix a lot of different varieties of material with those. Uh, they will be great for making prototypes from now till forever, probably, right. because they're so flexible and you can just use software to you know, pull a drop-down menu to choose the different sort of, of material and how you want to mix and blend them. Got it. Since they're all photopolymerized, though, you are limited in the kinds of material. So can you use real plastics? No, they all have to be uh, something that is liquid until it's photo-hardened. Can you make high temperature materials with it? Not really. Can you make things that can stand outside uh, without being destroyed by the sunlight? Uh, maybe, but not really. So. It's, it's useful for prototyping, especially when you need prototypes that look and feel like the real thing. Uh, but is it for making you know, real products to use in the home? Probably not.